you two were crossing the street. In Carlsbad Village. Is that in San Diego? It is, it's a suburb of San Diego. Is that where you live? Correct, in Carlsbad. And you were hit by Miss Santiago who was driving her mother's car. Correct. Miss Santiago acknowledges that she hit you and you were seriously injured. You've had shoulder surgery, you were both injured. Correct. When did this happen? This happened on Friday, September 4th, 2020. It is my knowledge that the mother had insurance. Her daughter was excluded from the policy. The policy, and therefore the insurance company disclaimed. Correct. I'd like to see that. Absolutely. That's why your mother's not here. No, Your Honor. Okay, okay. That's why your mother's I not here, Miss Santiago. Without her knowing. Miss Santiago, that's why your mother's not here. No. Well. Were you excluded from the insurance policy? That's either a yes or a no. Yes. Then you shouldn't have been driving the car. Yeah, I know. Just a second. Then you I shouldn't know. have been driving the car. I took the car. I don't want to hear that. some I don't want to hear some pat answer from you. Do you understand? That's why your mother's not here. Well, I was I didn't my ask you a question. I didn't and I took ask that you. Car do you understand? Permission. They don't listen to you when I'm speaking. When I ask you a question, you'll answer me. Just I don't want to hear some pat answer. I want to hear a lot of I'm sorry's. I want to hear a lot of I'm sorry's. Why would I say I'm sorry if they didn't pay attention when they were crossing? You weren't supposed to be behind the wheel of a car. But I was paying you attention. You weren't supposed to be behind the wheel of a car. But why they didn't pay I, attention? I'm not speaking to you. I just told you why. Why? Should I say I'm sorry? Hey, James. be quiet. Why should I say I'm sorry if they weren't paying attention? Because you weren't supposed to be behind the wheel of a car. If you weren't behind the wheel of a car, whether they were paying attention or not would be irrelevant. You weren't supposed to be driving. She thinks you have a big mouth. You don't have a bigger mouth than me, madam. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the last person who drove yesterday that wasn't supposed to drive yesterday because they were drunk, killed, was not sick. Drunk. Nobody's listening to you. When I'm speaking, nobody's listening to you. Killed six people. The last person who drove that wasn't supposed to be behind the wheel of a car killed six people. I you were not supposed to, hey, drunk. I'm speaking. You were not supposed to be behind the wheel of a car. Don't you understand that? I understand that. Are you that. stupid? I'm not. You were not supposed to be behind the wheel of a car. You were an excluded driver, and you were an excluded driver for a reason. Now I'm going to read and calm myself down. I don't like my blood pressure to get too high. <laughs> I just don't like stupid. Our investigation, which is after you notified the insurance company, determined that the driver of the insured's car, Jennifer Ramirez, was not covered by the policy. On September 4th, Miss Santiago, this requires a yes or a no answer from you. On September the 4th, 2020, did you have a valid driver's license? I didn't, Your Honor. I said it's either a yes or a no. Did you have a valid driver's license? No. Did you ever have a valid driver's license? No. Do you have a valid driver's license today? I know, Your Honor, because they... I just, that's a no. How old was Miss Santiago in September of 2020? 18. Are you a good friend of hers? Uh, yes, I am. You knew she didn't have a driver's license? Yes. Did you know why she didn't have a driver's license? Uh, she was still studying for a test. Had she taken the test before? Yes, yeah, she just, She had taken the test before. Yes. Do you remember how many times? Yes. How many times did she take the test? Two times. And the two times she took the test, she failed it? Yes, she did. Okay. So now she's driving without a license because she's failed her driving test twice at the time of this. So she's studying to pass it maybe for the third time, right? Yes. And now we have two years later, she still doesn't have a driver's license. Yes. Do you know why? No. Well, you're her good friend. Didn't you ask her? Well, it's two years later. Did you ever pass your driving test? She hasn't yet. Sit. You were crossing the street. Correct. In a crosswalk, she hit you. Correct. <laughs> we were you That's crossing what the street in a crosswalk, and she hit you. What happened well, when she hit you? Guys I, don't, were don't. Hey. 
Don't Wait, speak. Hey, cross. listen. Are you for someone attention? who can't take and pass a driver's test three times, at least I would keep my mouth shut until I look at you for an answer. Do you understand? Yes. She hit you in a crosswalk. That's a crosswalk. This okay. young lady knew I'm not... Did you hear me? I'm not speaking to you. You don't understand this was a really bad day for this kind of case to come into court. You do understand that? Yes. Okay, good. And you know why this is a very bad day for your case to come into court? No. Then you don't read the newspapers. I suggest if you read the newspaper, maybe you would be able to pass your driving test. Because either you failed the written portion or you failed the driving portion, one or the other. Do you understand? Yes, Your Honor. Good, now we understand each other. Now you're almost at I'm sorry. Oh, you hit her windshield. Who hit her windshield? We Is that both. You? Then, both. Your Honor, and the hood. That's not true. I only saw that, that the, her husband, that he hit, he hit the shield. It wasn't her. What an idiot. The yellow warning lights next to the crosswalk were flashing. They were not. Witness one observed plaintiff one driving northbound towards the crosswalk at a fast speed. She drove through. I'm speed. speaking, not you. I was not driving I'm fast speaking, speed. not you. I'm reading from a statement in the police report from a witness who stopped when this accident happened that you don't know, neither do you. Did you have your mother's permission to take the car that day to pick her up and go to the beach? No. Have you ever had your mother's permission to take the car and no. go anywhere? No. So in effect, if you had no license and you didn't ask for permission, then you stole the car? No. What do you mean, no? I you didn't have permission of the owner to take the car. You weren't a licensed driver, therefore there was no insurance. Had you, well, let's go back. Did you ever ask your mother to use the car? No, not at all. Nobody thinks that an accident is gonna happen. I don't think you intentionally hit these two people. No. I don't think you intentionally hit these two people. Are you ready to say I'm very sorry yet? Uh, yeah, I told them through, we have talked before, I told them that I was sorry and I'm telling them again that I'm sorry. Good, that's better. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $10,000. We're finished. 